It's Wednesday, November the 5th, and it's very appropriate to have a bomb here. The reason why I call it a bomb is because it's something that's developing that we, we can't see it particularly. You know, we don't see the evidence yet. But when it goes, it goes. That's it. This is an unprecedented national security threat. If the broadcasters were doing their jobs, they would be having regular discussions about this. We're not talking about the sort of bomb that we would want to blow things up. We're afraid about a bomb that is likely to blow us up. For several years, there'd been an assumption that it was unlikely to happen this century. That's not correct. It could pass a tipping point within the next 20 years. It would really affect our harvests, it would affect uh, everything about our lives. It's the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation. This huge cold blob has appeared in the North Atlantic because of fresh water melting from ice. So as a consequence, uh, that is slowing the ocean current. It's slowed by 15% so far, and scientists are concerned that its tipping point is imminent. So the fresh water meeting with this cooling water is creating a sort of block to what was a wonderful circulation that flowed around up through the Atlantic, right up to the north, and then back down by Newfoundland at a deep level. Then countries like the UK, we lose our agricultural production. The National Preparedness Commission has warned that arable farming in the UK would virtually be over if the AMOC collapses. So we face starvation here in the UK. And we, at this point, have an opportunity to put a halt to this, but it does mean we've got to stop burning fossil fuels. The prospect, if we don't do something, is infinitely worse. And when, say, a politician like Nigel Farage ends up on TV, one of the first questions should be, what are, why are you trying to devastate the British population by slowing down efforts to decarbonise? Those are the kinds of questions that should be put if broadcasters were professional and reputable, but they're not. The, the bottom line is, if we want to avoid, sooner or later, this bomb going off, we have got to get our government, gov governments globally, to recognise the danger they're putting all the people on this planet in. AMOC, when it collapses, it has global consequences. Mm -hmm.